today on Running to Him. Judah now begins 70 years of judgment. When are we going to start ours? And this is the devotion for 916. Today's reading is 2 Kings chapter 25 and we'll be concentrating on verses 5 through 7. 2 Kings 25 verses 5 through 7 says, But the army of the Chaldeans pursued the king and overtook him in the plains of Jericho, and all his army was scattered from him. And then they captured the king and brought him to the king of Babylon at Rilbah, and he passed sentence on him. They slaughtered the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. Then they put out the eyes of Zedekiah and bound him with bronze fetters and brought him to Babylon. We as a nation are in trouble. A book co-authored by Bob Woodward of Watergate fame made some stunning allegations against former President Trump and his advisors. First, it's alleged that President Trump followed the advice of some of his most ardent supporters and put the nation at risk. But a more troubling assertion is that the highest military officer, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, took it upon himself to secretly call China to assure them that Trump would not start a war with them and that he would see to it that they would be informed about any movements in the United States that they might make. That action, in itself, is treasonous, if true. If either of these tale allegations are true, then we as a nation are sinking rapidly into a terrible time of mistrust and decay. No nation can be at war with itself and not be rendered impotent for at least the near future. The same is true for Christianity. Recently, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America installed a transgender bishop in the western United States. This installation places them squarely against scriptural truth. They became another Gnostic heresy, believing that man is greater than God through his superior thinking and intellect. Our morals have degenerated into a free-thinking anarchy. We will soon begin to pay the price if it already hasn't started. Second Chronicles tells us why Judah's exile would have reached 70 years. God punished them for refusing to follow the law of letting the ground fallow for one year in every seven. See Second Chronicles 36.21 and Jeremiah 29.10. Thus, Judah was exiled for 70 years for breaking a simple rule. So while our nation was not formed through a revelation from God as Israel or Judah was, we were founded by those who believed in God and government through godly principles. So let's be clear. We as individual Christians fail to live as God desires us to live. For the most part, we are not heathens living a debauched life. But what we do in our lives does not live up to the expectations found in living a life for Christ. It's time for us to change our thinking. We need to repent of our selfishness and begin to live as Christ's servants. Our lives need to reflect who we are. We need to change our minds. Now tomorrow we will begin to work our way through the book of Hebrews. This book was written to encourage believers to think and act as followers of Christ because of who he is and what he has accomplished for us. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.